reaching at the highest point, and the pain magnitude and heat direction of her centripetal acceleration at the lowest point. 68 centripetal acceleration addicts rise in uniform circular motion with radius R 3.00 meters. At one instant his acceleration is. At that instant, what are the values of A and B? 61 when a large star becomes a supernova, its core may be compressed so tightly that it becomes a neutron star, with a radius of about 20 kilometers, about the size of the San Francisco area. If a neutron star rotates once every second, A what is the speed of a particle on the star's equator and B what is the magnitude of the particle's centripetal acceleration? C if the neutron star rotates faster, do the answers to A and B increase, decrease, or remain the same? 62 what is the magnitude of the acceleration of a sprinter running at 10 meters per second when rounding a turn of radius 25 meters? 63 is C12.00x, the acceleration of a particle in counterclockwise circular motion is 6.00 meters per second to 4.00 meters per second to it moves at constant speed. At time t 25.00s, the particle's acceleration is 4.00 meters per second to 6.00 meters s2. What is the radius of the path taken by the particle if t2 t1 is less than 1 period? 64 a particle moves horizontally in uniform circular motion over a horizontal exoplane. At one instant, it moves through the point of coordinate 4.00 meters, 4.00 meters, with a velocity of 5.00 meters per second and an acceleration of 12.5 meters per square second. What are the A, X, and B, Y coordinates of the center of the circular path? 65 acres at radius 2.00 meters and a wallet at radius 3.00 meters travel in uniform circular motion on the floor of a merry-go-round of the right turn. They are on the same radial line. The tone instant, the acceleration of the first is 2.00 meters per second to 4.00 meters per second to. At that instant and in unit vector notation, what is the acceleration of the wallet? 66 a particle moves along a circular path over a horizontal xy coordinate system at constant speed. At time t1 4.00s, it is a 0.5.00 meters, 6.00 meters with velocity 3.00 meters per second and acceleration in the positive x direction. At time t2 10.0s, it has velocity 3.00 meters per second and acceleration in the positive y direction. What are the a, x, and b, y coordinates of the center of the circular path of t2, t1 is less than 1 period? A very rolls a stone in a horizontal circle at radius 1.5 meters and at height 2.0 meters above level ground. The string WWWSSMIJJIJIJIJIR. A. B. A. A. 6.00 meters per second to I 4.00 meters per second to J I L W module 4 to 6 relative motion in one dimension 69 A cameraman on a pickup truck is traveling westward at 20 kilometers per hour while he reports a cheetah that is moving westward.
goes 30 kilometers per hour faster than the truck. Suddenly, the speed is stopped, turned, and then runs at 45 kilometers per hour eastward, as measured by a suddenly nervous crew member who stands alongside the cheetah's path. The change in the animal's velocity takes 2.0s. Where the A magnitude and B direction of the animal's acceleration according to the cameraman and the C magnitude and B direction according to the nervous crew member. 78 road is traveling upstream in the positive direction of an X axis of 14 km per hour with respect to the water of a river. The water is flowing at 9.0 km per hour with respect to the ground. Where the A magnitude and B direction of the boat's velocity with respect to the ground. A child on the boat walks from front to rear at 6.0 km per hour with respect to the boat. Where the speed magnitude and P direction of the child's velocity with respect to the ground. 71A suspicious looking man runs as fast as he can along a moving sidewalk from one end to the other, taking 2.50s. Then security agents appear, and the man runs as fast as he can back along the edge. I'd lock to his starting point, taking 10.0s. What is the ratio of the man's running speed to the sidewalk speed? Module 4 to 7 relative motion in two dimensions 72A rugby player runs with the ball directly towards his opponent's goal, along the positive direction of his axis. He can usually pass the ball to a teammate as long as the ball's velocity relative to the field does not have a positive X component. Suppose the player runs at speed 4.0 meters. Point zero meters. Point zero. Point zero meters per second relative to the field while he passes the ball with velocity relative to himself. Himself. It has magnitude. Magnitude 6.0 meters per second. What is the smallest angle you can have for the pass to be legal? 73 two highways intersect is shown in 6.446. As the instant shown, a police car ties distance DP 800 meters from the intersection and moves. Moving at speed DP 80 kilometers per hour. Motors. Motors use the stand DM 600 meters from the intersection and moving at speed DM 60 kilometers per hour. Versus. DP versus DP XYM DM DP VM DP T figure 4 to 46 problem 73. A in unit vector notation, what is the velocity of the motorist with respect to the police car? D for the instant. Instant. Instant shown in 6.446, what is the angle between the velocity found in A and the line of sight between the two cars? C if the cars maintain their velocity, to the answers to A and B change if the cars move near the intersection. Great. And the stone flies off horizontally and strikes the ground after traveling a horizontal distance of 10 meters. What is the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration of the stone during the circular motion? 68A cat rides a merry go round turning with unicorn circular motion. At time T12.00s, the cat's velocity is measured on a horizontal X coordinate system. At T25.00s, the 
cat flying in the air. Twitter ate the magnitude of the cat's centripetal acceleration and teased the cat's average acceleration during the time interval of 2 t one which is less than one period. 4.00 meters per second JV. 23.00 meters per second ice. 3.00 meters per second ice. 4.00 meters per second JV. 1. Problem. 89. 74 after flying for 15 minutes in a wind blowing 42 kilometers per hour at an angle of 20 degrees south of east. An airplane pilot is over a town that is 55 kilometers due north of the starting point. What is the speed of the airplane relative to the air? SFM. 75 A train travels due south at 30 meters per second relative to the ground in the rain that is blown toward the south by the wind. The path of each raindrop makes an angle of 70 degrees with the vertical, as measured by an observer stationary on the ground. An observer on the train, however, sees the drops fall perfectly vertical. Determine the speed of the raindrops relative to the ground. 76A light plane attains an airspeed of 500 km per hour. The pilot sets out for a destination 800 km due north but discovers that the plane must be headed 20.0 degrees east of due north to fly there directly. The plane arrives in 2.008. What were the A magnitude and C direction of the wind velocity? 77. SFM. Snow is falling vertically at a constant speed of 8.0 meters per second. At what angle from the vertical do the snowflakes appear to be falling as moved by the driver of a car traveling on a straight, level road with a speed of 50 kilometers per hour? 78 in the overhead view of 6. 4 to 47. Each C and B race along straight lines, across flat terrain, and past stationary border guard A. Relative to the guard, B travels at a constant speed of 20.0 meters per second at the angle. U2. N. P. Beta. 1. A. Beta. 2. E. B. 30.0 degrees. Relative to the guard, P has accelerated from rest at a constant rate of 0.400 meters per second to at the angle U 160.0 degrees. At a certain time during the acceleration, he has a speed of 40.0 meters per second. At that time, what are the A magnitude and B direction of the velocity of C relative to B in the speed magnitude and B direction of the acceleration of C relative to B? Figure 4 to 47 problem 78. SFM. ILW. 79 to shift, A and B, leave port at the same time. Shiva travels northwest at 24 knots, and Shiva travels at 28 knots in a direction 40 degrees west of south, 1 knot. 1 nautical mile per hour, C ascended C. What are the A magnitude and B direction of the velocity of Shiva relative to B? See after what time will the ships be 160 nautical miles apart? See what will be the bearing of B, the direction of B's position, relative to at that time? 88-200 meter wide river flows blue east at a uniform speed of 2.0 meters per second. A boat with a speed of 8.0 meters per second relative to the water leaves the south bank pointed in a direction 30 degrees west of north. What are the A magnitude and B direction of the boat's 
velocity relative to the ground. See how long does the boat take to cross the river? I. 81 Chippe is located 4.0 kilometers north and 2.5 kilometers east of Chippe. Chippe has a velocity of 22 kilometers per hour toward the south, and Chippe has a velocity of 40 kilometers per hour in a direction 37 degrees north of east. Hey, what is the velocity of a relative to be in unit vector notation with toward the east? Read write an expression in terms of and for the position of a relative to be is a function of t, where t i j 0 when the shifter and the positions described above t at what time is the separation between the shifts least t what is that least separation 82 a 200 meter wide river has a uniform flow speed of 1.1 meters per second through a jungle in Fordini. An explorer wishes to leave a small clearing on the south bank and cross the river in a powerboat that moves at a constant speed of 4.0 meters per second with respect to the water. There is a clearing on the north bank 82 meters upstream from a point directly opposite the clearing on the south bank. A in what direction must the boat be pointed in order to travel in a straight line and land in the clearing on the north bank? B. How long will the boat take to cross the river and land in the clearing? Additional problems 83A woman who can row a boat at 6.4 km per hour in still water faces a long, straight river with a width of 6.4 km and a current of 3.2 km per hour. Red eyes point directly across the river and J point directly downstream. If she rows in a straight line to a point directly opposite her starting position, A. At what angle time must she point the boat and B. How long will she take? C. How long will she take it? Instead, she rows 3.2 kilometers down the river and then back to her starting point. D. How long if she rows 3.2 kilometers up the river and then back to her starting point? E. At what angle to use the she point the road if she wants to cross the river in the shortest possible time? F. How long is that shortest time? Versus. Zero. D. Zero. C. D. Zero. Y. J. E. 84 and SIG point 448A, A sled moves in the negative X direction at constant speed versus while a ball of ice is shot from the sled with a velocity relative to the sled. When the ball lands, its horizontal displacement XCG relative to the ground from its launch position to its landing position is measured. Figure 4 to 48 D gives. XGG is a function of versus as soon the ball lands at approximately its launch height. What are the values of A, B, 0, X and C, Z, 0, Y? The ball's displacement XGS relative to the sled can also be measured. Assume that the sled's velocity is not changed when the ball is shot. What is XCS when versus is C5.0 meters per second and G15 meters per second? 40. Y. Versus. Ball. A. Sled. 0. X. Increment XBG M. Minus 40. 10. 20. Versus meter per second. C. Figure 4 to 48 problem 84. 85 who are kidnapped by political science majors who are upset because you told them political science is not a real science. 
made particle stars from the origin of T0 with a velocity of 8.0 meters per second and moves in the XY plane with constant acceleration 4.0. Today, 2.0 ms2. When the particle's x coordinate is 29 meters, what are its a y coordinate and c speed? 90 of what initial speed must the basketball player in big? 450 throw the ball at angle u 055 degrees above the horizontal to make the foul shot. The horizontal distances are d1, theta, 0. 93 oasis ice 90 kilometers due west of oasis B a desert camel leaves A and takes 58 to walk 75 kilometers at 37 degrees north of Belize. Next it takes 35 H to walk 65 kilometers due south. Then it rests for 5.08. What are the A magnitude and B direction of the camel's displacement relative to at the resting point? From the time the camel leaves A until the end of the rest period, what are the speed magnitude and P direction of its average velocity and G its average speed? The camel's last drink is at A, it must be at B no more than 128 later for its next drink. If it is to reach B just in time, what must be the F magnitude and G direction of its average velocity after the rest period? 94. Curtain of Death A large metallic asteroid strikes Earth and quickly digs the crater into the rocky material below ground level by launching rocks upward and outward. The following table gives five pairs of long speeds and angles from the horizontal for such rocks, based on a model of crater formation. Other rocks, with intermediate speeds and angles, are also launched. Suppose that you are at right 20 kilometers when the asteroid strikes the ground at time T0 and position X OK. 4 to 52 A at T20 S. What are the X and Y coordinates of the rocks headed in your direction from launch of A for E? B plot these coordinates and then sketch a curve for the points to include rocks with intermediate launch speeds and angles. The curve should indicate what you will see if you look up into the approaching rock. Launch speed meter per second angle degree. D1. 1.0 feet and D2. 14 feet. And the height for H17.0 feet and 210 feet. 91 during volcanic eruption. Chunks of solid rock can be blasted out of the volcano. These projectiles are. H2. H1, B2, A, B, C, D, E, 520, 630, 750, 870, 1000, 14.0, 16.0, 18.0, 20.0, 22.0. Figure 4 to 50 problem 90. Call volcanic bomb. Figure 4 to 51 shows a top section of MT. 2G, in Japan. A at what initial speed will the bomb have to be ejected at angle U0? 35 degrees to the horizontal, from the vent at AN. Order to fall at the foot of the volcano of B, at vertical distance H 3.30 km and horizontal distance D 9.40 km. Ignore, for thus, Y, U, X, K, M, 0, 10, figure 4 to 52 problem 94, 20, Problem 91
95-figure Florida 53 shows the straight path of a particle across an XY coordinate system as the particle is accelerated from rest during time interval T1. The acceleration is constant. The XY coordinates for pointer are 4.00 meters. 6.00 meters, both for point B or 12.0 meters, 18.0 meters, A. What is the ratio I pass to the acceleration component? B. What are the coordinates of the particle if the motion is continued for another interval equal to P1? Y. B. A. Figure 4 to 53. Problem 95. 96 for women's volleyball. The top of the net is 2.24 meters above the floor and the court measures 9.0 meters by 9.0 meters on each side of the net. Using a jump serve, a player strikes the ball at a point that is 3.0 meters above the floor and a horizontal distance of 8.0 meters from the net. If the initial velocity of the ball is horizontal, at what minimum magnitude must it have if the ball is to clear the net and be what maximum magnitude can it have if the ball is to strike the floor inside the back line on the other side of the net? SSM 97A rifle is aimed horizontally at a target 30 meters away. The bullet hits the target 1.9 cm below the aiming point. Where A the bullet's time of flight and B its speed as it emerges from the rifle. R. 2.00 meters. I is 3.00 meters. J. 98A particle is in uniform circular motion about the origin of an XY coordinate system, moving clockwise with a period of 7.00s. At one instant, its position vector measured from the origin is. At that instant, what is its velocity in unit vector notation? 99 in 6. 4 to 54, a lump of wet putty moves in uniform circular motion as it rises at a radius of 20.0 cm on the rim of a wheel rotating counterclockwise with a period of 5.00 milliseconds. The lump then happens to fly off the rim at the 5 o'clock position as if on a clock page. It leaves the rim at a height of 8. Wheel. Putty. 8. P. Figure 4 to 54 problem 99. 1.20 meters from the floor and an addition C. 2.50. M from the wall. At what height on the wall does the lump hit? 100 and ice boats sail to top the surface of a frozen lake with constant acceleration produced by the wind. At a certain instant the boat's velocity is 6.30. I. J. Eight point four two meter per second. Three seconds later, because of a wind shift, the boat is instantaneously at rest. What is its average acceleration for this three point zero zero s interval? One hundred one in six. Four fifty five. A ball is shot directly upward from the ground with an initial speed of B zero seven point zero zero meters per second. Simultaneously, a construction elevator cab begins to move upward from the ground with a constant speed of BC. BC. 3.00 meters per second. What maximum height does the ball reach relative to eta? B0 ball. Figure 4 to 55 problem 101. Ground and B to tab 4. At what rate does the speed of the ball change relative to C to ground and B to tab 4? 
100 TA magnetic field forces and electron to move in a circle with radial acceleration 3.0. 1014 meters per second to it. What is the speed of the electron? is the radius of its circular path is 15 cm. B is what is the period of the motion? 103 and 3.50 H. A balloon drifts 21.5 kilometers north, 9.70 kilometers east, and 2.88 kilometers upward from its release point on the ground. Find A the magnitude of its average velocity and B the angle its average velocity makes with the horizontal. 104 A ball is thrown horizontally from a height of 20 meters and hits the ground with a speed that is three times its initial speed. What is the initial speed? 105 A projectile is launched with an initial speed of 30 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal. What are the A magnitude and B angle of its velocity 2.0s after launch? And C is the angle above or below the horizontal. What are the B magnitude and E angle of its velocity 5.0s after launch? And F is the angle above or below the horizontal. 5.0i, 6.0j, 2.0j. 106 the position vector for a proton is initially and then later is colon r 2.0i 6.0j colon r all in meters a what is the proton displacement vector and b to what plane is that vector parallel 2.0j y RP O Figure 4 to 56 Problem 107 X 107 A particle P travels with constant speed on a circle of radius R 3.00 meters big 4 to 56 and completes one revolution in 20.0 S The particle path is through O of time T0 the following vectors in magnitude angle notation, angle relative to the positive direction of X. With respect to O, find the particle's position vector at the time T of A 5.00 S, B 7.50 S, and C 10.0 S. For the 5.00s interval from the end of the 5th second to the end of the 10th second, find the particle's displacement. For that interval, find E its average velocity and or velocity at the F beginning and T end. Next, find the acceleration at the H beginning and I end of that interval. 108 the fast French train known as the TGV train A Grande Vitesse has a scheduled average speed of 216 km per hour. And if the train goes around a curve at that speed and the magnitude of the acceleration experienced by the passengers is to be limited to 0.050 grams, what is the smallest radius of curvature for the track that can be tolerated? B. At what speed must the train go around a curve with a 1.00 km radius to be at the acceleration limit? 109A. If an electron is projected horizontally with a speed of 3.0. 106 meters per second, how far will it fall in traversing 1.0 meters of horizontal distance? B does the answer increase or decrease as the initial speed is increased. 110 A person walks up a stall 15 meter long escalator in 90 S. 
when standing on the same escalator. Now moving, the person is carried up in 6ps. How much time will it take that person to walk up the moving escalator? Does the answer depend on the length of the escalator? 111A What is the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration of an object on Earth's equator due to the rotation of Earth? B. What would Earth's rotation period have to be for objects on the equator to have a centripetal acceleration of magnitude 9.8 meters per square second? 0. 1 1 to the range of a projectile depends not only on V0 and but also on the value G is a free fall acceleration, which varies from place to place. In 1936, Jesse Owens established the world's running broad jump record of 8.09 meters at the Olympic Games of Berlin where G. 9.8128 meters per second to assuming the same values of V0, 0, and by how much would his record have differed if he had competed instead in 1956 at Melbourne where he 9.7999 meters per second to 92 Chapter 4 Motion in 2 and 3 Dimensions 113 figures or the 57 foot is the path taken by a jump stunt over level ground, from initial point I to final point F. The angles are, 1, 2, 50.0 degrees, and, 3, 30.0 degrees. 80.0 degrees, enough. Distances are V1. 5.00 meters. V2 8.00. M and V3 12.0 meters. What are the A magnitude and B angle of the stump's displacement from I to S? Colon. R. 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 T. B. T. Sin. 4 radians per second T James. 114 the position vector of a particle moving in the XY plane is within meters and T in seconds. It calculates the X and Y components of the particle's position at T. Y. Theta 3. V3. I. V2. S. Figure 4 to 57 problem 113. 0, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0 SN. Sketch the particle's path in the XY plane for the interval 0. 4.0 S. We calculate the components of the particle's velocity at T. 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 s. Show that the velocity is tangent to the path of the particle and in the direction the particle is moving at each time by drawing the velocity vectors on the plot of the particle's path in part A. C. Calculate the components of the particle's acceleration at T. 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0 s. 115 an electron having an initial horizontal velocity of magnitude 1.00 109 centimeters per second travels into the region between two horizontal metal plates that are electrically charged in that region, the electron travels a horizontal distance of 2.00 cm and has a constant downward acceleration of magnitude 1.00. 1017 cm per square second due to the charged plate. Find A the time the electron takes to travel the 2.00 cm, B the vertical distance it travels during that time, and the magnitudes of its C horizontal and D vertical velocity components as it emerges from the region. 
116 in elevator without a ceiling is ascending with a constant speed of 10 meters per second. A boy on the elevator should devolve directly upwards from a height of 2.0 meters above the elevator floor, just as the elevator floor is 28 meters above the ground. The initial speed of the ball with respect to the elevator is 20 meters per second. A foot maximum height above the ground does the ball reach. B. How long does the ball take to return to the elevator floor? 117 A football player punts the football so that it will have a king time, time of flight at 4.5 S and land 46 meters away. If the ball leaves the player's foot 150 centimeters above the ground, what must be the A magnitude and B angles relative to the horizontal of the ball's initial velocity? 118 An airport terminal has a moving sidewalk to speed passengers through a long corridor. Larry does not use the moving sidewalk, he takes 150 as to walk through the corridor. Curly, he simply stands on the moving sidewalk, covers the same distance in 70 s. Mo boards the sidewalk and walks along it. How long does Mo take to move through the corridor? Assume that Larry and Mo walk at the same speed. 119A wooden box car is moving along a straight railroad track at speed version 1. A sniper fires a bullet initial speed version 2 at it from a high-powered rifle. The bullet passes through both lengthwise walls of the car, its entrance and exit holes being exactly opposite each other is used from within the car. From what direction, relative to the track, is the bullet fired? Assume that the bullet is not deflected upon entering the car, so that its speed decreases by 20%. KP 185 kilometers per hour and version 2650 meters per second. Why don't you need to know the width of the box star? 128 sprinter running on a circular track has a velocity of constant magnitude 9.20 meters per second and a centripetal acceleration of magnitude 3.80 meters per square second. What are A the track radius and B the period of the circular motion? Theta 2, Theta 1, B1, X, T. 121 supposed that a space probe can withstand the stresses of a 20 grams acceleration. A what is the minimum turning radius of such a craft moving at a speed of one tenth the speed of light? B. How long will it take to complete a 90 degrees turn at this speed? 122 You are to throw a ball with a speed of 12.0 meters per second at a target that is height H equals 5.00 meters above the level of which you release the ball big. 4 to 58 you want the ball's velocity to be horizontal at the instant it reaches the target. A. At what angle above the horizontal must you throw the ball? B. What is the horizontal distance from the release point to the target? C. What is the speed of the ball just as it reaches the target? 123A projectile is fired with an initial speed version 0 equals 30.0 meters per second from level ground at a target that is on the ground, at distance R equals 20.0 meters, as shown in Fig. 4 to 59. What are the A least and B greatest launch angles that will allow the projectile to hit the target? Target. Theta. A. Figure 4 to 58 problem 122. High trajectory. B0. Low trajectory. B0. R. 
Figure 4 to 59 Problem 123 124 A Dragon Surprise At time T equals 0 A burrito is launched from level ground With an initial speed of 16.0 meters per second and launch angle Imagine a position vector Colon R Zero Continuously directed from the Launching point to the burrito during the flight Grab the magnitude R of the position vector for A Zero Zero Equals 40.0 degrees and B equals 80.0 degrees Four Zero Equals 40.0 degrees when does R reach its maximum value, meet what is that value, and how far ease horizontally and F vertically is the burrito from the launch point? 4, 0, equals 80.0 degrees, meet when does R reach it? Maximum value, H what is that value, and how far I horizontally and J vertically is the burrito from the launch point. 125A cannon located at sea level fires a ball with initial speed 82 meters per second and initial angle 45 degrees. The ball lands in the water after traveling a horizontal distance 686 meters. How much greater would the horizontal distance have been had the cannon been 30 meters higher? 126 The magnitude of the velocity of a projectile when it is at its maximum height above ground level is 10.0 meters per second. It what is the magnitude of the velocity of the projectile 1.00s before it achieves its maximum height? B. What is the magnitude of the velocity of the projectile 1.00s after it achieves its maximum height? If we take x equals 0 and y equals 0 to be at the point of maximum height and positive x to be in the direction of the velocity there, what are the px coordinate and py coordinate of the projectile 1.00s before it reaches its maximum height in the ex coordinate and fy coordinate 1.0s after it reaches its maximum height? 127A right and grab it moving at 6.00 meters per second U East runs onto a large area of level ice of negligible friction. As the rabbit slides across the ice, the force of the wind causes it to have a constant acceleration of 1.40 meters per square second. New North. Choose the coordinate system with the origin at the rabbit's initial position on the ice and the positive x-axis directed toward the east. In unit vector notation, what are the rabbit, a velocity and b position when it has pulled for 3.00s? Problem 93 128 The pilot of an aircraft flies through east relative to the ground in a wind blowing 20.0 km per hour toward the south. If the speed of the aircraft in the absence of wind is 70.0 km per hour, what is the speed of the aircraft relative to the ground? 129 The pitcher in the slow pitch softball game releases the ball at a point 3.0 feet above ground level. A stroboscopic plot of the position of the ball is shown in fig. 4 to 60, where the readings are 0.25 s apart and the ball is released at c equals 0. A. What is the initial speed of the ball? B. What is the speed of the ball at the instant it reaches its maximum height above ground level? C. What is that maximum height? 10. Y. 4. 5. T equals 0. 0. 10. 20 x 4. 
Figure 4 to 60 problem 129 30 40 130 from State Trooper Department use aircraft to enforce highway speed limits. Suppose that one of the airplanes has a speed of 135 miles per hour in full air. It is flying straight north so that it is at all times directly above a north-south highway. A ground observer tells the pilot by radio that a 70.0 miles per hour wind is blowing but neglects to give the wind direction. The pilot observes that in spite of the wind the plane can travel 135 miles along the highway in 1.008. In other words, the ground speed is the same as if there were no wind. A. From what direction is the wind blowing? B. What is the heading of the plane? That is, in what direction is the point? 131A golfer tees off from the top of a rise, hitting the golf ball an initial velocity of 43.0 meters per second at an angle of 30.0. Zero degrees above the horizontal. The ball strikes the fairway a horizontal distance of 180 meters from the tee. Assume the fairway is level. A how high is the rise above the fairway? B what is the speed of the ball as it strikes the fairway? 132A track meet is held on. On a planet in a distant solar system, a shot putter releases a shot at a point 2.0 meters above ground level. A stroboscopic plot of the position of the shot is shown in Fig. 4 to 61. 61. 10. Why? Y N 5 0 0 P equals 0 5 10 15 X X N 20 20 Figure 4 to 61 problem 100 132 25 30 where the readings are 0.50 S apart and the shot is released at time t equals 0. A. What is the initial velocity of the, the shot in unit vector notation? B. What is the magnitude of the free fall acceleration on the planet? C. How long after it is released does the shot reach the ground? Need is an identical throw as the shot is made on the surface of Earth. How long after it is released does it reach the ground? 133A helicopter is flying in a straight line over a level field at a constant speed of 6.20 meters per second and at a constant altitude of 9.50 meters. A package is ejected horizontally from the helicopter with an initial velocity of 12.0 meters per second relative to the helicopter and in the direction opposite the helicopter's motion. It finds the initial speed of the package relative to the ground. Means what is the horizontal distance between the helicopter and the package at the instant the package strikes the ground. See what angle does the velocity vector of the package make with the ground at the instant before, before impact, as seen from the ground. 134A car travels around a flat circle on the ground, at a constant speed of 12.0 meters per second, at a certain... Certain instant the car has an acceleration of 3.00 meters per square second for the east. East.
Flutter is distance and direction from the center of the circle at that instant if it is traveling a clockwise around the circle and be counterclockwise around the circle. 135 you throw a ball from a foot with an initial velocity of 15.0 meters per second at an angle of 20.0 degrees below the horizontal. Find A is horizontal displacement and B is vertical displacement 2.30 S later. 136 A baseball is hit at Fenway Park in Boston at a point zero point seven six two meters above home plate with an initial velocity of 33.53 meters per second directed 55.0 degrees above the horizontal. The ball is observed to clear the 11.28 M high wall in left field known as the Green Monster. 5.00s after it is hit, at a point just inside the left field goal line hole. Find a the horizontal distance down the left field foul line from home plate to the wall. See the vertical distance by which the ball clears the wall. See the horizontal and vertical displacement of the ball with respect to home plate 0.500s before it clears the wall. 137A transcontinental flight at 4,350 kilometers is scheduled to take 50 minutes longer west of the eastward. The airspeed of the airplane is 966 kilometers per hour, and the jet stream that will fly through is presumed to move the east. What is the assumed speed of the jet stream? 138A women can row a boat at 6.40 km per hour in still water. A if she is crossing a river where the current is 3.20 km per hour, in what direction must her boat be headed if she wants to reach a point directly opposite her starting point? B if the river is 6.40 km wide, how long will she take to cross the river? She suppose that instead of crossing the river she rolls 3.20 km down the river and then back to her starting point. How long will she take? See how long will she take to roll 3.20 km up the river and then back to her starting point? See in what direction can she head the boat if she wants to cross in the shortest possible time, and what is that time? P-H-A-T-T-E-R-5 Force in motion, I 5 to 1 meeting first and second laws Learning objectives After reading this module, you should be able to 5.01 Identify that a force is a vector quantity and thus has both magnitude and direction and also components. 5.02 Giving two or more forces acting on the same particle, add the forces as vectors to get the net force. 5.03 Identify Newton's first and second laws of motion. 5.04 Identify Inertial Reference Frame 5.05 Sketch a free body diagram for an object, showing the key ideas. Still circle the velocity of an object contained, the object can accelerate when the object is acted on by one or more forces pushes or pulls from other objects. Newtonian mechanics relates accelerations and forces. Still circle forces are vector quantities. Their magnitudes are defined in terms of the acceleration that you give the standard kilogram. A force that accelerates the standard body by exactly one meter per square second is defined to have a magnitude at one end. The direction of a force is the direction of the acceleration it causes. 
forces are combined according to the rules of vector algebra. The net force on a body is the vector sum of all the forces acting on the body. Still circle if there is no net force on a body, the body remains at rest if it is initially at rest or moves in a straight line at constant speed if it is in motion. Still circle reference frames in which Newtonian mechanics holds are called inertial reference frames or inertial frames. Reference frames in which Newtonian mechanics does not hold are called non-inertial reference frames or non-inertial frames. Object is a particle and drawn the forces acting on it as vectors with their tails anchored on the particle. 5.06 apply the relationship Newton's second law between the net force on an object, the mass of the object, and the acceleration produced by the net force. 5.07 identify that only external forces on an object can cause the object to accelerate. Still circle the mass of a body is the characteristic of that body that relates the body's acceleration to the net force causing the acceleration. Masses are scalar quantities. Colon. Still circle the net force. F net. On a body with mass and is related to the body's acceleration by A. Colon. F net. Ma which may be written in the component version. F net, X. Mass F net, Y may and F net, Z mode. The second law indicates that an FI unit, 1 M, 1 KGM S2, dot, filled circle of free body diagram is a stripped down diagram in which only one body is considered. That body is represented by either a sketch or a dot. The external forces on the body are drawn, and a coordinate system is superimposed, oriented so as to simplify the solution. What is physics? We have seen that part of physics is a study of motion, including acceleration, which are changes in velocity. Physics is also a study of what can cause an object to accelerate. That causes a force, which is, loosely speaking, a push or pull on the object. The force is said to act on the object to change its velocity. For example, when a dragster accelerates, a force from the track acts on the rear tires to cause the dragster's acceleration. When a defensive guard knocks down a quarterback, a force from the guard acts on the quarterback to cause the quarterback's backward acceleration. When a car slams into a telephone pole, a force on the car from the 94. 5 to 1 Newton's first and second laws. 95. Pull causes the car to stop. Science, engineering, legal, and medical journals are filled with articles about forces on objects, including people. A heads up. Many students find this chapter to be more challenging than the preceding one. One reason is that we need to use vectors in setting up equations, we cannot just sum from scalars. So, we need the vector rules from chapter 3. Another reason is that we shall see a lot of different arrangements. Objects will move along floors, ceilings, walls, and ramps. They will move upward on ropes pushed around pulleys or by sitting in ascending or descending elevators. Sometimes, objects will even be tied together. However, in spite of the variety of arrangements, we need only a single key idea, using second law, to solve most of the homework problems. The purpose of this chapter is for us to explore how we can apply that single key idea to any given arrangement. The application will take experience, 
We need to solve lots of problems, not just read words. So, let's go through some of the words and then get to the sample problem. Newtonian mechanics. The relation between the force and the acceleration that causes was first understood by Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, and is the subject of this chapter. The study of that relation, as Newton presented it, is called Newtonian mechanics. We shall focus on the three primary laws of motion. Newtonian mechanics does not apply to all situations. If the speeds of the interacting bodies are very large, an appreciable fraction of the speed of light, we must replace Newtonian mechanics with Einstein's special theory of relativity, which holds at any speed, including those near the speed of light. If the interacting bodies are on the scale of atomic structure, for example, they might be electrons in an atom, we must replace Newtonian mechanics with quantum mechanics. Physicists now view Newtonian mechanics as a special case of these two more comprehensive theories. Still, it is a very important special case because it applies to the motion of objects ranging in size from a very small, almost on the scale of atomic structure, to astronomical galaxies and clusters of galaxies. Newton's first law. Before Newton formulated his mechanics, it was thought that some influence, a force, was needed to keep a body moving at constant velocity. Similarly, a body was thought to be in its natural state when it was at rest. For a body to move with constant velocity, it seemingly had to be propelled in some way, by a hook or a pole. Otherwise, it would, naturally, stop moving. These ideas were reasonable. If you send a puck sliding across a wooden floor, it does indeed slow and then stop. If you want to make it move across the floor with constant velocity, you have to continuously pull or push it. Send a puck sliding over the ice of a skating rink, however, and it goes a lot farther. You can imagine longer and more slippery surfaces, over which the puck will slide farther and farther. In the limit you can think of a long, extremely slippery surface, said to be a frictionless surface, over which the puck will hardly slow. You can in fact come close to this situation by sending a puck sliding over a horizontal air table, a top which is moved on a film of air. From these observations, we can conclude that a body will keep moving with constant velocity if no force acts on it. That leads us to the first of Newton's three laws of motion. Newton's first law. If no force acts on a body, the body's velocity cannot change. That is, the body cannot accelerate. 96. Chapter 5 Force and Motion, I, F, A, Finger 5 to 1 A force, F, on the standard, kilogram gives the body an acceleration A. In other words, if the body is at rest, it stays at rest. If it is moving, it continues to move with the same velocity, same magnitude and same direction. Force Before we begin working problems with forces, we need to discuss several features of forces, such as the force unit, the vector nature of forces, the combining of forces, and the circumstances in which we can measure forces without being pulled by a fictitious force. Unit We can define the unit of force in terms of the acceleration of force with use of a standard kilogram, 6.13, which has a mass defined to be exactly 1 kilogram. 
Suppose we put that body on a horizontal, frictionless surface and pull horizontally fixed. 5 to 1 such that the body has an acceleration of 1 meter per square second. Then we can define our applied force as having a magnitude of 1 newton abbreviated n. If we then pull with a force magnitude of 2 n, we will find that the acceleration is 2 meters per square second. Thus, the acceleration is proportional to the force. If a standard body of 1 kilogram has an acceleration of magnitude in meters per second per second then the force in newtons producing the acceleration has a magnitude equal to A. We now have a workable definition of the force unit. Vector. Force is a vector quantity and thus has not only magnitude but also direction. So, if two or more forces act on a body, we find the net force or resultant force by adding them as vectors, following the rules of chapter 3. A single force that has the same magnitude and direction as the calculated net force will then have the same effect as all the individual forces. This fact, called the principle of superposition for forces, makes everyday forces reasonable and predictable. The world will indeed be strange and unpredictable if, say, you and a friend each pulled on the standard body with a force of 1N and somehow the net pull was 14N and the resulting acceleration was 14 meters per square second. F. Comma. In this book, forces are most often represented with a vector symbol such as in the net force is represented with a vector symbol. F. Net. Dot. As with other vectors, a force or a net force can have components along coordinate axes. When forces act only along a single axis, they are single component forces. Then we can drop the overhead arrows on the force symbols and just use signs to indicate the direction of the forces along that axis. The first law. Instead of our previous wording, the more proper statement is Newton's first law is in terms of a net force. Newton's first law. If no net force acts on a body, F. Net. Zero cannot change, that is, the body cannot accelerate. The body's velocity. There may be multiple forces acting on a body, but if their net force is zero, the body cannot accelerate. So, if we happen to know that a body's velocity is constant, we can immediately say that the net force on it is zero. Inertial reference frame. Newton's first law is not true in all reference frames, but we can always find reference frames in which it, as well as the rest of Newtonian mechanics, is true. Such special frames are referred to as inertial reference frames, or simply inertial frames. An inertial reference frame is one in which Newton's laws hold. For example, we can assume that the ground is an inertial frame provided we can neglect Earth's astronomical motions such as its rotation. 5 to 1 Newton's first and second laws. 97. That assumption works well if, say, a cup is sent sliding along a short strip of friction with ice, you would find that the cup's motion obeys Newton's law. However, suppose the cup is sent sliding along a long ice strip extending from the North Pole fifth, high to Tua. If we view the cut from a stationary frame in space, the cut moves south along a simple straight line because Earth's rotation around the North Pole nearly slides the ice beneath the cut. However, if we view the cut from a point on the ground so that we rotate with Earth, the cut's path is not a simple straight line. 
He put the east first speed of the ground beneath the cut of crater the farther south the cut slide. From our ground base view the cut appears to be deflected west for 6, 5 to 2 D. However, this apparent deflection is caused not by a force as required by moving laws but by the fact that we see the cut from a rotating frame. In this situation, the ground is a non-inertial frame, and trying to explain the deflection in terms of a force would lead us to a fictitious force. A more common example of inventing such a non-existent force can occur in a car that is rapidly increasing in speed. You might claim that a force to the rear shoves you hard into the seat back. In this book we usually assume that the ground is an inertial frame and that measured forces and accelerations are from this frame. If measurements are made in, say, a vehicle that is accelerating relative to the ground, then the measurements are being made in a non-inertial frame and the results can be surprising. Checkpoint 1, F. Which of the figure's six arrangements correctly show the vector addition of force events? He yields the third vector, which is meant to represent their net force. Q, F1, A, T, F1, Math, F1, F2, F2, T, F1, 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 Question mark. Net, F2, F1, E, F2, C, F, F2, F1, F2, F1. From everyday experience you already know that applying a given force to bodies, say, a baseball and a bowling ball will both in different accelerations. The common explanation is correct. The object is a larger mass is accelerated less. But we can be more precise. The acceleration is actually inversely related to the mass rather than, say, the square of the mass. Let's justify that inverse relationship. Suppose, as previously, we searched on the standard body, we find to have a mass of exactly 1 kg with a force of magnitude 1n. The body accelerates with a magnitude of 1 meter per square second. Next we push on body X with the same force and find that it accelerates at 0.25 meters per square second. Let's make the correct assumption that with the same force. Mix M0, zero, a 0, hat, N, W, F, E, A. First rotation causes an apparent deflection. B. Figure 5 to 2 A, the path of a cut sliding from the North Pole is seen from a stationary point in space. Earth rotates to the east. B, the path of the cut is seen from the ground. 98. Chapter 5, Force and Motion, I, and thus. Mix N0 A0 at 1.0 kg, 1.0 meters per second to 0.25 meters per square second, 4.0 kg. Defining the mass of X in this way is useful only if the procedure is consistent. Suppose we apply an 8.0 N force first to the standard body getting an acceleration of 8.0 meters per second T and then to body X getting an acceleration of 2.0 meters per second T. We would then calculate the mass of X as Mix M0 A0 at 1.0 kg, 8.0 meters per second to 2.0 meters per square second, 4.0 kg, which means that our procedure is consistent and thus usable.
The results also suggest that mass is an intrinsic characteristic of the body. It automatically comes with the existence of the body. Also, it is a scale of quantity. However, the nagging question remains, what exactly is mass? Since the word mass is used in everyday English, we should have some intuitive understanding of it, maybe something that we can physically attend. Is it a body's size, weight, or density? The answer is no, although those characteristics are sometimes confused with mass. We can say only that the mass of a body is the characteristic that relates the force on the body to the resulting acceleration. Mass has no more familiar definition. You can have a physical sensation of mass only when you try to accelerate a body, as in the kicking of a baseball or a bowling ball. Newton's second law. All the definitions, experiments, and observations we have discussed so far can be summarized in one neat statement. Newton's second law. The net force on a body is equal to the product of the body's mass and its acceleration. In equation form, F, ma, net, Newton's second law, opening parenthesis, phi, 1, identify the body. This simple equation is the key idea for nearly all the homework problems in this chapter, but we must use it cautiously. First, we must be certain about which body we are applying it to. Then, S, net, must be the vector sum of all the forces that act on that body. Only forces that act on that body are to be included in the vector sum, not forces acting on other bodies that might be involved in the given situation. For example, if you are in a rugby scrum, the net force on you is the vector sum of all the pushes and pulls on your body. It does not include any push or pull on another player from you or from anyone else. Every time you work a short problem, your first step is to clearly state the body to which you are applying Newton's law. Separate axis. Like other vector equations, EQ, 5 to 1 is equivalent to three component equations, one for each axis of an XYZ coordinate system. F net, X, max, F net, Y may, A, N D F net, G mode, opening parenthesis, 5, 2. Each of these equations relates the net force component along an axis to the acceleration along that same axis. For example, the first equation tells us that the sum of all the force components along the x-axis causes the x-component acts of the body's acceleration, but causes no acceleration in the y and z direction. Turned around, the acceleration component acts is caused only by the sum of the 5 to 1 Newton's first and second laws. 99 Force components along the x-axis and is completely unrelated to force components along another axis, in general. The acceleration component along a given axis is caused only by the sum of the force components along that same axis, and not by force components along any other axis. Forces in equilibrium. Equation 5 to 1 tells us that if the net force on a body is zero, the body's acceleration. A. Zero. Dot. If the body is at rest, it stays at rest. If it is moving, it continues to move at constant velocity. In such cases, any forces on the body balance one another, and both the forces in the body are 
had to be in equilibrium. Commonly, the forces are also said to cancel one another, and the term, cancel, is tricky. It does not mean that the force of peace to exist, canceling forces is not like canceling dinner reservations. The forces still act on the body but cannot change the velocity. Unit. For red by unit, eight two, five to one tells us that. One and one kilogram, one m s two, one kgm s two. Five to three. Some force units in other systems of units are given in table five to one in appendix B. Diagram. To solve problems with Newton's second law, we often draw a free body diagram in which the only body shown is the one for which we are summing forces. The sketch of the body itself is preferred by some teachers but, to save space in these chapters, we shall usually represent the body with a dot. Also, each force on the body is drawn as a vector arrow with its tail anchored on the body. A coordinate system is usually included, and the acceleration of the body is sometimes shown with a vector arrow labeled as an acceleration. This whole procedure is designed to focus our attention on the body of interest. Table 5 to 1 units in Newton's second law, E2. 5 to 1 and 5 to 2. System. Force. Mass. Acceleration. SI. TGSA. Right speed. Newton's N. 9. Pound LD. Kilogram, kilogram, gram, g, plus, meter per square second, centimeter per square second, foot per square second, a one dime one gram centimeter per second cube, v one lb one slug foot per square second, external forces only. A system consists of one or more bodies, and any force on the bodies inside the system from bodies outside the system is called an external force. If the bodies making up a system are visibly connected to one another, we can treat the system as one composite body and the net force. F. On it is the vector sum of all external forces. We do not include internal forces, that is, forces between two bodies inside the system. Internal forces cannot accelerate the system. For example, a connected railroad engine and car form the system. If, say, a tow line pulls on the front of the engine, the force due to the tow line acts on the whole engine car system. Just as for a single body, we can relate the net external force on a system to its acceleration with Newton's second law. Net, F, net, Lorem is the total mass of the system. Checkpoint 2, F. The figure here shows two horizontal forces acting on a block on a quick smooth floor. Is a third horizontal force. Three, three in, ma, comma, five in. Also acts on the block. What are the magnitude and direction of? When the block is a stationary and keep moving to the left with a constant speed of five meters per second. F, three. 100 Chapter 5 Force and Motion I Sample Problem 5.011 One and two dimensional forces. Cut here are examples of how to use Newton's second law for a cut when one or two forces act on it. Part A, 
disease and C is 6.5343 situations in which one or two forces act on a puppet moves over frictional sites along angst axis in one dimensional motion. The puck mass is then 0.20 kg. Forces and are directed along the axis and have magnitude F14.0 n and F22.0 n. Forces directed at 3F, 2F, 1 figure 5 to 3 in 3 situations. Forces act on a puck that moves along in axis. Three body diagrams are also shown. F1XA Tuck XAB F1F1F2XC XCD F1F2F2XXEC F Theta Theta F3 F2 F3 The horizontal force causes the horizontal acceleration. This is a free body diagram. Each force is complete. Their net force causes a horizontal acceleration. This is a free body diagram. Only the horizontal component is F3 competes with F2. This is a free body diagram. At angle U30 and has magnitude F3 1.0 n. In each situation, what is the acceleration of the puck? The idea in each situation we can relate the acceleration to the net force acting on the puck with Newton's second law. However, if the motion is along only the x-axis, we can simplify each situation by writing the second law for x components only, f net, x max. 5 to 4 to 3 body diagrams for the 3 situations are also given in 6.53, with the cut represented by a dot. Situation A. For 6.53b, where only one horizontal force acts, P2.54 gives us F1 max, which, with given data, yields answer to positive answer indicates that the acceleration is in the positive direction of his axis. Situation D. In 6.53b, two horizontal forces act on the puck, in the positive direction of X and in the negative direction. Now E2.54 gives us F1 F2 max, which, with given data, yields answer thus, the net force accelerates the puck in the positive direction of this axis. Situation C. In 6.53F, force is not directed along the direction of the puck's acceleration, only X component F3, X is. Force is two-dimensional but the motion is only 1F, 3F, 3X F1 F2 M4.0 N2.0 N0.20 kg 10 meters per square second. X. 2F, 1F, F1M, 4.0N, 0.20 kg, 20 meters per square second. F, net mod, F, net A, dimensional. Thus, we write E2.54 is F3, XF2 max. 5 to 5 from the figure, we see that F3, XF3 to 2. Solving for the acceleration and substituting for F3, X Y I E L D answer thus, the net force accelerates the puck in the negative direction of this axis. 1.0 N plus 32.0 N 0.20 kg 5.7 meters per square second. Access 3, XF2 MF3 plus F2 meters additional example, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus. 10151 Newton's first and second laws X components. Along the axis we have F3, X max F1, XF2, XM8 plus 50, F1 plus 150, F2 plus 90.
Then, substituting known data, we find F3, X2.0 kilograms, 3.0 meters per second too, plus 50 10 N, plus 150 20 N, plus 90 12.5 N. Y component. Similarly, along the axis we find F3, Y may F1, Y F2, Y M pass in 50 F1 sin 150 F2 sin 90, 2.0 kilograms, 3.0 meters per second 2, sin 50 10 N, sin 150 20 N, sin 90 10.4 N. Vector. In unit vector notation, we can write F3, XF3. Y 12.5 N, 10.4 N, 13 N, 10 N. Answer we can now use a vector capable calculator to get the magnitude and the angle of. We can also use a 2.36 to obtain the magnitude and the angle from the positive direction of this axis as an answer can 1 F3, Y F3, X40. F3 to F3, X2F23, Y16NF, 3 j i j i j i f 3 sample problem 5.022 dimensional forces, 52 here we find a missing force by using the acceleration. In the overhead view of 6.54A, a 2.0 kg sticky tin is accelerated at 3.0 meters per second 2 inches the direction shown by, over a frictionless horizontal circle. The acceleration is caused by three horizontal forces, only two of which are shown, of magnitude 10N and of magnitude 20N. What is the third source in unit vector notation and in magnitude angle notation? The idea of the net force on the tin is the sum of the three forces and is related to the acceleration via Newton's second law. Thus, 5 to 6 which gives us 5 to 7 calculations. Because this is a two-dimensional problem, we cannot find merely by substituting the magnitude for the vector quantities on the right side of E2.57. Instead, we must vectorially add the reverse of and the reverse of as shown in 6.54b. This addition can be done directly on a vector-capable calculator because we know both magnitude and angle for all three vectors. However, here we shall evaluate the right side of E2.57 in terms of components, first along the axis and then along the axis. Caution, use only one axis at a time. F, 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 1 F, 1 Ma, F, 3 F, 3, Ma, F, 1 F, 2. F, 1 F, 2, F, 3, Ma, F, Net Ma, Smiley Face A, F, Net F, 3 F, 2 F, 1 A, Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wireless Plus Figure 5 to 4, A, an overhead view of two of three horizontal forces that act on a cookie tin, resulting in acceleration, is not shown. B, an arrangement of vectors, and the fine force. F, 3F, 2F, 1 ma, F, 3A, Y A 30 degrees by Y B X F 2 F 3 F 2 F 1 A A 50 degrees M F 1 These are two of the three horizontal force vectors. This is the resulting horizontal acceleration vector. We draw the product of mass and acceleration of the vector. Then we can add the three vectors to find the missing third force vector. 102. Chapter 5 Force and Motion, I. 
five cues from particular sources. Learning objectives. After reading this module, you should be able to 5.08 determine the magnitude and direction of the gravitational force acting on a body with a given mass, at a location with a given free fall acceleration. 5.09 Identify that the weight of the body is the magnitude of the net force required to prevent the body from falling freely, as measured from the reference frame of the ground. 5.10 Identify that a scale gives an object weight when the measurement is done in an inertial frame but not in an accelerating frame, where it gives an apparent weight. Key ideas. 5.11 Determine the magnitude and direction of the normal force on an object when the object is pressed or pulled onto a surface. 5.12 Identify that the force parallel to the surface is a frictional force that appears when the object slides or attempts to slide along the surface. 5.13 Identify that a tension force is said to pull at both ends of a cord for a cord-like object when the cord is caught. Colon. Fill circle of gravitational force. Sg. On a body is a pull by another body. In most situations in this book, the other body is Earth or some other astronomical body. For Earth, the force is directed down toward the ground, which is assumed to be an inertial frame. With that assumption, the magnitude of Fg, Mg, where move the body's mass and g is the magnitude of the free fall acceleration. Still circle the weight W O F a body is the magnitude of the upward force needed to balance the gravitational force on the body. A body's weight is related to the body's mass by WMG, colon, still circle a normal force, SN. Is the force on a body from a surface against which the body presses. The normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. Colon. Sg. Still circle of frictional force. Is. S. Is the force on a body when the body slides or attempts to slide along the surface. The force is always parallel to the surface and directed so as to oppose the sliding. On a frictionless surface, the frictional force is negligible. Still circle when a cord is under tension, each end of the cord pulls on the body. The pull is directed along the cord, away from the point of attachment to the body. For a massless cord, a cord with negligible mass, the cord at both ends of the cord have the same magnitude T. Even if the cord runs around a massless, frictionless pulley, a pulley with negligible mass and negligible friction on its axle fulfills its rotation. Some particular forces. The gravitational force. The gravitational force. S. G. On a body is a certain type of pull that is directed toward a second body. In these early chapters, we do not discuss the nature of this force and usually consider situations in which the second body is Earth. Thus, when we speak of the gravitational force, S, G, on a body, we usually mean a force that pulls on it directly toward the center of Earth, that is, directly down toward the ground. We shall assume that the ground is an inertial frame. Free fall. Suppose a body of mass M is in free fall with the free fall acceleration of magnitude G. Then, if we neglect the effects of the air, the only force acting on the body is the gravitational force. We can relate this downward force and S, G. 
Downward acceleration with Newton's second law. S. Colon. Ma. Dot. We place a vertical y axis along the body's path with the positive direction upward. For this axis, Newton's second law can be written in the form F net, y may, which, in our situation, becomes FGMT. 4. FGMT. Opening parenthesis. 5. 8. In words, the magnitude of the gravitational force is equal to the product mg. 5 to some particular forces. 103. At rest. This same gravitational force, with the same magnitude, still acts on the body even when the body is not in free fall but is, say, at rest on a full table or moving across the table. For the gravitational force to disappear, Earth would have to disappear. We can write Newton's second law for the gravitational force in these vector forms. G, G, F, G, J, M, G, J, M, G, 5 to 9, where J is the unit vector that points upward along a y axis, directly away from the ground, and is the free fall acceleration 